Hi, Chris. All right. So let's find a nice tall seat. And just for a while, close your eyes. And become aware of your breath, of your posture, just checking in with your body this morning. In and out. Nice deep breath. Great. And then let's open the eyes we'll do some shoulder circles so we're really lifting those shoulders up and back and down and forward nice big circles great and then let's add a whole arm. So a nice big circle on the side, reaching back behind you. Okay. And then let's bring the arms up and overhead and reach out to the side, exhaling them down. Inhale, see if you can touch the thumbs together above your head and then bring them back down. Inhale and exhale. And one more, inhale and exhale. Right. And then we're gonna do this movement where you're um, le uh, or you're reaching more through one hand. So one, one arm uh, is a little longer. And then, so you're doing this movement kind of like you're <laughs> flossing your shoulders. Uh, you're uh, sort of pulling that arm out of the shoulder socket and then putting it back. So you'll feel the spine Rotating a little bit side to side as you do that. Just for some upper back and shoulder mobility. Reach, 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 reach. Good. And then release. Let's uh, round the back to do some cat and cow. So up on the inhale and exhale, round the back. Shoulders down and back on the inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Good. Excellent. And then let's do some um, straighten and bend legs. Push through that heel, straightening the knee, lift up. Warm up those leg muscles. Good, and then let's go a little bit to the side. So straighten, but to the side, opening of the hip.
Great. Nice job. And then let's wake up the core. So we're gonna, you can either hold on to the chair and we're gonna sort of straighten the legs and then bring the feet under the chair possibly. Uh, or you can cross the arms without holding on. Straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Now you kind of have to sit at the edge of the chair for this one to work. Good. And then we'll go into that big star and back together. Open big shape and small shape. Open and close. Spread the fingers too as you reach out. Open and close. Open and close. Great. Take up a lot of space. <laughs> Good, nice. And then uh, keep the knees apart, but knees bend. Now we're gonna try to slide down that leg. You decide how low you wanna go. And then you're gonna come up and then reach back. So rotate to the right, reach that arm back. And then we're gonna go down again. It's the same side a few times. So reach back on the inhale. Exhale, slide down that opposite leg. Reach back. Let's work on that back mobility. Some more. Good. And then one more time on the side. Slide down and reach back. Good. And then we'll switch sides. So <clears throat> left hand slides down the right leg and reach back and slide down and reach back slide down and reach back hi everyone good excellent and then um, let's do a few of the power ups seated. So you're gonna reach forward, hinging of the hips, and then sit up tall and reach those arms back. Feel the stretch across the chest. And forward and up. And forward and up. Three and four. And five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten excellent all right and then let's do the stand up so um possibly if you can go all the way to standing if you're having trouble getting up, you could do just a little bit of a butt lift off the chair. You don't have to go all the way. Nice big tall posture. Spread those fingers apart. Reach those arms back. Straighten the elbows. Great. Do five more. One. And down, and two, and down, and three, and four, and five. Excellent. All right. And then we'll stay up. Um, so while I do the music, you can do some heel lifts, <clears throat> calf raises. So coming up on your tiptoes.
Can you hear the music or is it quiet? Yeah, it's kind of quiet, right? Yeah. You know, cause, um, I taught a class on Thursday and the music was too loud. Everybody was telling me, so I put it down, but now. Good now? That's good. Okay. Let's, let me know if it gets too loud so you don't hear my voice. Alright. Let's start marching. Oh, okay. 
open. Good. And then go up. Up to the opposite corner. I thought love was only true in fairy tales. And for someone else, but not for me. And on a cross side to side. Our love was out to get me. Lift that leg or lift the heel. That's the way it seemed. Disappointment haunted all my dreams. Then I saw her face Now I'm a believer Not a trace Nice degree out in my mind Lifting the way I'm in love I'm a believer I couldn't leave her if I tried I thought I was more And then I'll back to the center Now we're gonna do this movement Okay, so you're reaching for something on the right and then driving it back to the knees. And all you get is pain. When I needed sunshine, I got rain. Oh, then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Now I pray. I'm a believer, I couldn't leave her if I tried. Oh, I'm going to go out to the side, flick out, flick out, forward, up, and then back. Oh, then I saw her face. Uh, now I'm a believer. Got her trace. Hooked out in my mind. Forward. Hooked out in love. Oh. I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. Yes, I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Up, so you're not doing this, right? This is up. Point gauge. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. And yeah, those triceps fired up. Bad. And then I got you. You better shape up. Cause I need a man. And my heart is set on you. You better shape up. Now. You better understand. To my heart, I must be true.
down on the side. And then other side. And so as you go, you can bend your knees and hinge at the hips. Don't, don't. And then, and then the second one, I'll, I'll just give you right away. Uh, so we're going to pull the dumbbells in the fire armpit. And then we're going to lift those wings up. Okay. And then, yes, then I'll let you know.
take its control, so it's not like a... You're just not letting go. You're so driving those arms back. Those oh, well, good. Um, so we're going to step forward um, and, uh, sorry, step back and extend and then back to center. So again, you're moving those arms back. So you feel that active contraction in the back of the arm. Stuff. And I just can't wait till the day when you knock on my door. Now every time I go for the mailbox, I gotta hold myself down. Cause I just can't wait till you All right. me you're coming around. Alright, so the next time, if you can do it without getting on, we're gonna hold the one. Or shake it harder, bend the knee. And then we're gonna go one, either one arm at a time, front the right, or you can do both. If your dumbbells are not too heavy.
press. Next, we'll do the other side. So same thing, but other foot and back. Okay, hopefully your arms are still okay. <laughs> I, I only have light ones, so three pounds. Hopefully yours are not much heavier. <laughs> Otherwise, it might be hard to sugar it. Oh, honey, honey. Excellent. 
all the good love. Hey, Brett. Keep it up, girl. Yeah, you turn me on. Okay, so the next song is Burn Dog. He's a new twist. I'm also a dog. We're trying to feed him. I'm high on my lead you're in love with me I'm hooked on a feeling And I'm high on believing That you're in love with me I said I'm hooked on a feeling And I'm high on okay. believing Up. That you're
on the left. Uh, guide that arm right in front of your chest and you can hook it or hold it. And then I can that stretch. Yeah, so you're gently pressing the arm to the other side. So you feel that stretch here. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone over dark clouds that had me blind. Switching sides. All right. And then we're going to do that tricep stretch. So try to touch the back of your neck, elbow points up. And then if you can, you could grab it uh, over your head. Uh, but this is also good. Keep breathing. And then switch sides. So touch the back of your neck or upper back. And maybe pull that elbow a little closer. Excellent. And then release. And then we'll bend the knees and we're going to come into a forward fold. So you decide how low you want to go. You could use the chair for support or just slide down your legs. And stay there for a few breaths. And then slowly coming up so you don't get dizzy. And then we'll take that downward facing dog. You can use the chair. So if you're using the chair, walk away until your back is nice and long. Or you can try on the floor, pressing the whole hand, including the mounts of the fingers into the floor, and then pressing the hips away from the hands. So either with the chair or on the floor. Stretching the back, stretching the hamstrings, the calves. <clears throat> Great. And then we're all going to come down onto all fours. So take your time coming down onto your knees, hands and knees. Good, and then we'll do the, I'll show you from this angle. So we're gonna rotate open. So lifting the left arm, looking to the left. And then you're gonna slide that arm under the right arm. And then let's do it three more times on this side. One, and slide down on the exhale. And two, Slide down under that arm. And three. Exhale, slide. Good. And then we'll switch sides. <clears throat> so we're going to inhale the right arm up. Look to the right. And then exhale, slide the right arm under the left. And two. And three. And four. Great. Okay, and then if your uh, knees are still okay, we can try that power up, kneeling power up. You could use the chair for it if you don't wanna go all the way down like that. You could use the chair and do a sort of like a break the fall with bending the arms, kind of like a push up 
or go all the way down on the floor. <clears throat> Bend those elbows and push yourself up into kneeling. Good. Excellent. Great work. And then let's do just one more thing here and kneeling if you're okay, just sliding down side to side. Side bending, slide towards that knee. Excellent, good. And then uh, we're gonna come down onto the floor, but before you go, uh, we'll do bridge. And I'll just uh, show you how you can use the extra weight to, to make that bridge harder. So you would come down, knees bent, and then you can hold your, your dumbbells somewhere where it feels okay. So, you know, on your bones or somewhere. Um, and then just with, with that extra, just hold them in place. Uh, you, you don't have to do it, but it's a little bit extra strength for those glutes lifting up and down. <clears throat> yeah, so squeezing that, those glutes, lifting those hips up with that extra weight or, or not. And so coming down on the exhale, up on the inhale. Good, that's it. Excellent. <clears throat> okay. So if you've done a few, you're gonna put those dumbbells aside. And we're gonna do uh, sort of like snow angels. So you can keep your knees bent, lying down on the back. And I'll just show you the movement of the arms. So you can keep the knee, the elbows bent, but your arms are gonna slide as much on the floor as possible, right? So uh, sliding those arms, keeping the hands and elbows as much in contact with the floor as possible. And uh, you might lose that contact and it's fine, but just trying to keep making those snow angels around you. It's actually a great workout for everyone. <clears throat> And just notice the sensation as you go up. Notice where you feel a little pull, where you feel some obstacles, <laughs> where you feel the tightness. Great. And if you've done a few, you can bring your arms back and hug your knees in, rock side to side. Great. And then just one last big stretch, straightening your legs and bringing the arms up and overhead. Make yourself as long as possible. Stretch and maybe point your toes now. Point your toes, stretch the top of the feet. 
And stretch through the fingertips, making yourself extra long. All the way back to the floor, if possible. Yeah, good. And, and then find your way into Shavasana. You can either lie flat or maybe put your legs up on a chair like this. Um, just find a comfortable position where you can rest. And then for a while, stop all effort. Just stay in your body, feel the body, notice any new sensations. Feel the breath. And you don't need to control the breath, just sort of let the breath breathe you and just notice that gentle rocking of the breath in the body, in and out. Just stay present. Don't let your mind travel far. Feel the pressure of the floor into your body. Feel the front of the body relax and opening. And if you know that you're, you're, you have specific areas of the body where you hold a lot of tension, just bring that healing awareness in there. And maybe with every exhale, you can try to mindfully release that tension. And then take uh, five long breaths. Now, now it's gonna, it's gonna be a little more mindful about the breath. So see if you can elongate your inhale and the exhale as well. <clears throat> so nice, slow, long breath, deep into your belly. Five of them. And then when you're done with your breathing, you can uh, slowly start moving your fingers and toes, maybe taking a stretch. And then rolling over to your side. And coming up to sitting. <clears throat> Uh, 
All right. Great work. Let's close the class. Feel free to join me in my little loving kindness, intention setting, sending ourselves some love and care. May I be happy. <clears throat> May I be healthy. May I be mindful. May I have courage. May I have fun. And may I treat myself and others with love and compassion. And then hands to your forehead as a reminder of the power of your thoughts. Hands to your lips as a reminder of the power of your words. <clears throat> 